So here is my version of the hydroponic deep water culture. So right here on our coffee table with other stuff out here. This is a commercial air pump that is running to a, let's see, two, four, six. It's an eight um, outlet. And this is, um, it's just lime. Okay, so this is your standard tub. And I ordered the three inch cups here, the neti pots. I ordered all of this off of eBay. Inside of the solution, inside the water, is a nutrient solution that I mixed one tablespoon of each nutrient uh, per gallon of water. And so right in here, they would like for you to use hydroton. I use pea gravel because right now I can't afford to ship the clay pellets in. So these little plants are in a little bit of shock from being transplanted, but if you look right here, they're a little bit greener. They're starting to get buds up in there. They're doing much better. So this cord is, or this air hose is running into the tank via a hole under here that was just already in the box. And inside is an eight inch air stone. It's just a standard fish aquarium air stone. So that's how that one works. The water level is about one inch um, above the bottom of the neti pot and the air bubbler um, is supplying oxygen to the roots at all times. So the air pump on this one runs at all times. I, I never turn it off. I've got air hoses running to these five gallon buckets. Let's see, I've got four or five gallon buckets going on. These are an eight inch pot lid that you can order on Amazon or eBay. I found a better deal on eBay for them. So there is a hole drilled into each bucket and once again inside is an air stone. Let's see if I can lift this up with one hand. Let's see if you can see in here. I don't want to drop my phone. Okay, I've got that one held down inside of there with a stone. I can't do that with one hand. Come over here. Underneath here I have a PVC pipe that I painted black and I drilled some holes in it and I ran my hose in it just to be able to protect the, the line from the weather but more so also to kind of disguise it from Lincoln Military Housing so that they don't come after me and make me move them. This one here is empty. I have nothing in it so you can get a good view of the lid. That's what it looks like. It's just a standard uh, five gallon bucket hydroponics deep water culture lid. Got my line in there, but it's not running because I don't have an air stone. I'm waiting on some more to come in the mail. Over here I've got a blueberry plant. I bought this at Home Depot and I took, I raked all of the dirt off of it, gently shaking it, and then I washed it free of all soil to ensure that I didn't contaminate the water and the nutrients. And it seems to be taken okay. It, it's been in here about a week. It's not dead yet. This one too has also been here about a week. And if you look very closely, it's looking pretty good. I forgot to measure these before I put them in. So they're doing much better than things that are being grown in the soil, as you can see. So here, this is lettuce being grown in the soil. It's not quite as appealing. So here is my hydroponic tower. Now this one starts over here. It has a timer. So this one rains water down and it cuts the water off every 30 minutes. I need to buy a new timer, but this one's working just fine for now. This one runs the water for 30 minutes and it's off for 30 minutes. And once again, it runs for 30 minutes and off for 30 minutes. It turns off at 8 p.m. So because once the sun goes down, the plants don't absor really absorb any nutrients. So um, just to keep them moist, I have it where it kicks on again sometime in the middle of the night, I can't remember. I think it's at about 2 a.m. just to run for 30 minutes and then it doesn't kick on again until 7 a.m. I'm sorry, 6.30 a.m. Okay, so this is running over here. 
I have a five gallon bucket. This could have been done more elaborately, but right now this is my own little prototype. So it's a five gallon bucket that came from Walmart because I didn't want the Homer bucket. It's pretty unappealing. But then I had trouble finding a lid and I wound up having to go get a Homer bucket lid from Home Depot and it doesn't even fit. So this is your standard five by five by eight vinyl fence post. I cut off two foot of it, so now it's six foot tall. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna have to drag a chair over here so I can stand up. <clears throat> right here, this is three inch PVC pipe cut at an angle. The angle, I can't tell you what angle it is uh, because I played around with it and it was a lot of trouble. Um, my next one that I make, I'm gonna rent a saw to make more, you know, cleaner, cleaner cuts. I'm just gonna make the whole thing work a little bit more efficiently. At the moment, this particular one, it sets the neti pot a little bit too much angled, so I had to put cheesecloth on top of it to hold my little uh, pea uh, rocks inside of it. So my next one, I'll have it sitting more so at an angle like this. We just want to make sure that part of the neti pot is within inside of this tower so that it is exposed to the water raining down. Uh, this little plant, my lovely two-year-old ripped the plant out a while ago. So it's not in there. So anyway, this tower has 24 three-inch pot holders. So, okay, so what I did is I took a three-inch hole saw and I drilled holes inside of it um, and then I I glued these on I wound up having to put silicone around it to stop the water from leaking through because my cuts were very uneven and like I said ne next time I'm gonna rent a better saw so that I have cleaner cuts and therefore I can stick it on there better I guess it's easier to say these plants were transplanted about two days ago and they have a few spots that are turning brown and dying, but yet inside they have new leaves and they're very nice and crisp. So I want you to look at this right here. I have roots, there's the root system. So you just wanna make sure that those roots are hanging down inside of there. Inside of the bucket. Here I drilled multiple one inch holes and that was only for airflow. This has four gallons of nutrient enriched water in here. And down inside, you can't see, but I have a 385 gallon per minute submersible water pump in there. And I had to cut this post here, I had to cut a, a square out of the very bottom. And I tucked that, that pump in there halfway because the pump was too long to just sit here beside of the, the tower. Um, I may fix that on my next tower, make it work a little more efficiently. So inside of here, there, there is the pump down here. And I have a hose. I believe it is a 5 8 inch hose. At the moment, I can't remember. It's black. Got it from Home Depot. It was $10 for 10 foot. I originally bought a cheaper one that was smaller. I was wrong. You live and learn. So this hose is running up. And it runs all the way up. And then inside, I have this cap up here. There is a 4 inch sewer pipe. I'm sorry, drain pipe cap hard time at Home Depot because they didn't know what I was talking about. I thought it was just a regular PVC cap. Come to find out it's not. It's for drainage lines and it is flat in here. Um, your standard pipe cap that you find is rounded so make sure you look at the other end of the aisle at Home Depot for it. It's a much thinner PVC and it's cheaper. So I drilled a hole right in the center that was the size of my hose and I drilled lots of little tiny holes all around it to make a sort of shower head. And right here, that's a T. I did that because I couldn't find a way to cheaply and easily mount that hose up there to where the water just kind of bubbled out. So I placed that T on it. That T holds the hose up into this cap and it disperses the water to both sides and then it just rains down. I just drilled some holes here, put some screws, that's what holds it up there. So there's the cap, put that on there. And 
The tower actually just kicked off right before I came over here. But I'm going to come over here and make it come on. This timer I bought at Walmart. It, at the time I thought it was a good buy. It was Brinks. But come to find out it is on a 30 minute timing system. So... I'm just going to... See if I can get this to kick on. There it went. Okay. So now, let's look in here. The water is just raining down. And so it'll do that for 30 minutes, and then it'll shut off for 30 minutes to give the roots time to dry a little bit and be exposed to more oxygen. And so, there you have it. Oh, I didn't show you this. I've got a little, I believe that was a, I don't know what size that is. Anyway, a hole that I, I drilled there just large enough to be able to fit this plug through. That's all it is. There is nothing holding this post in the bucket aside from this hole I cut here. Um, I just cut that with a razor blade and then pressed it through and it popped through. I did break one lid in my first attempt of that, um, but it's just cut out the size of this. And that is really, and the pump are really the only things holding this. It wiggles. Um, I'm going to feel find a better way to fix that. And I am also going to drill some holes up here, make something that hangs from both sides, and then run a chain all the way up to a hook so that a large gust of wind won't knock it over. So, let's see. There you have it. I believe that's all you need to know about my hydroponics. Here soon I will be starting an aquaponic system in the house. But stay up to date with me on Facebook and you'll see how we're doing.